Hello, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Let's get straight into the video. We'll start with my primer and of course guys, all over my pores. Just the way I feel like my pores are slightly larger than everywhere else. Followed by my current favorite foundation right now, which is the Revlon Candid. I will leave down my shade in the description box. Although I do feel as if this shade is a tad bit lighter. No, sorry, a tad bit darker than my skin tone but nothing a little highlight won't fix so you know the drill la girl pro conceal for highlight in the shade warm honey let's get it So there's a trick I've been doing which is spraying my beauty blender with a bit of setting spray just so um, the beauty blender doesn't absorb as much product as it usually does and obviously saves way more product. And now we contour. I just forgot the name of the shade but I will definitely leave it down in the description box. Now, I know this seems like a lot. Do not panic. <laughs> Do not panic. We'll fix it a bit later. I'm gonna set my highlight with LA Girl Pro Powder. I normally use banana powder, but I just figured I'd try the translucent powder and see how that works on my face. You see, you see, we're fixing it. We are fixing it. I absolutely love starting with concealer underneath my brows. I have explained why I like doing this and I will link the video to that eyebrow tutorial in my description box. Sometimes I change it up a little bit and this time I'm just using a normal brow pencil from Essence. After dusting off the powder off your face, you do want to just go in with a little bit of blush just to bring back some color on your face. Here comes my favorite part. I'm going to start with this very bright pink. I'm going to place it just above my crease line and work my way towards the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to go in with a very pale pink and just to ensure that I blend everything together. Now I'm going in with the purple and I'm going to place that right into my crease and work my way again towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm not too happy with how light the purple is so I'm going to go in with a darker purple and place that in my crease rather. Now I'm going to 
cut my crease and I'm going to be using the same concealer that I used at the beginning. So I'm gonna go in with this white shimmery color from this palette on my crease just to make my eyeshadow pop a little bit more. I'm gonna leave the details of all of the palettes that I used down in the description box. Filling in the crease, I'm gonna use the same colors that I used before. So it's gonna be the bright pink, the pale pink, and at the outer corner, the dark purple. We're sort of trying to create an ombre effect. A little bit of eyeliner on my waterline and a little bit of more powder just to brighten my face up a little bit more. And of course, purple eyeshadow just underneath my waterline. I put my lashes off camera and I chose very simple, minimal lashes so they don't cover my eyeshadow and I'm dusting off the rest of the powder that's on my face. The Essence Eyeliner that I used earlier is good for anything actually. Now I'm using it to line my lips before I put on actual lipstick. This Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray is my actual favorite before I go in with my highlighter. And now for me to just style my hair and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.